Hello, just wanted to cover a problem that I ran into. <clears throat> uh, I'm working with this model and I wanted to rig it with a, an add-on called Rig a Car. It's an open source add-on you can Google. It's a very good add-on actually, I like it a lot. Anyway, but uh, the add-on depends on a naming convention for the body, the wheels, in order to figure out where to put the bones for the wheels and the bones for the body, etc. Um, in order to do that, you need to have all the body as one object, the wheels as another object, and um, you name them uh, following a specific naming convention for rig a car. However, if you look at this model, it's composed of many different objects that form the body, right? Like this, for example, is a different object. This is a different, this is a different object, etc. Um, kind of creating, uh, I need to group these together in order for me to be able to use it, to use Riga car with it. Um, and this causes a problem that I'll show you right now. If I do, if I go into uh, textured mode, or rendered mode or whatever, right? I kind of worked on the uh, object uh, on this uh, on the texturing for this guy, and I want to keep the texturing obviously. But say I select everything and I hit Control J to join, everything is gone. All my texturing is gone. Um, the reason for that, and uh, this is not really my solution. Um, I I found the solution in this video here. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the in the description, but uh, I'm going to cover it quickly. Uh, basically, each object comes in with a different UV map name. So if you go to the data properties and then the UV maps, you'll see that there's a name here. It has a UV map, and if you go to this guy to another object, it has a different UV map name. You go to the different object, you have a different yet a different UV map name. Uh, the solution is to make sure that all the objects share the same UV map name and when you join it then it works. Uh, however obviously there's so many you know objects here if you go each one and you know go to the thingy and then you rename this it's, it's just like not a very practical way of doing it with so many objects. Uh, there's a quick way and this is the crux of the video here. I just wanted to show you how you can write a little Python loop to do that for you. Uh, it's easy to do but you know other people who might not know Python might find it a little bit uh, hard to figure out. Anyway so what I'm gonna do, uh, uh, the one thing to note this object, this file here only contains the truck right so I'm gonna go to iterate all, through all the objects and all the objects uh, belong to that truck. So to do that, I'm just going to show you that I can iterate through all the objects first, train. So uh, I'm going to go for each object in all the objects in the data uh, in the data directory or the data dictionary or whatever, and then I, I can print the object name, and you'll see that I can iterate through all the objects. Now I want to get each object's UV map name and change it right in order to do that i'm going to iterate over because you can have multiple uvs and in this case there's only one uv per object so i'm not going to worry about having multiple uvs but i'm going to uh, iterate through each object's uv layers and then i'm going to change the name of it to uh, something general like truck general UV map and that's it if you now go into each of the objects you'll see that they have the same UV map name uh, and then if I select everything right and then control G the textures I mean the texture remains the same which is good anyway I hope that helped a little bit I'm going to post that little uh, code snippet in the description so that you can copy it. Good day.